Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So now, ngayon, um, welcome po sa LCTC. No, and this evening, we are going to review on general education. Okay, sandali lang po kasi I'll be preparing my slides. Now, dear teachers, um, uh, spare me a minute. Okay. Okay, so good evening po once again. So sa gabing ito, we are going to again discuss general education para po sa mga let takers natin this coming March. Okay? And una po sa lahat, magpapakilala muna ako. Okay? So I am Sir Jill Moore of LCTC. And Kailangan nyo pong makinig ngayong gabi para po sa mga panibagong lectures natin. Okay? Para magiging prepared na kayo this coming March. Okay, so welcome po sa ating Friday Night Drills with Sir Jill. Okay, every Friday po, abangan nyo ako, catch me live dito sa LCTC YouTube channel natin. Okay, every Friday from 7pm to 9pm. Okay. So, every Friday po, magkakaroon tayo ng mga panibagong live discussions, continuation po every Friday. Okay. Sige. So, I'll be sharing now my slide. Okay. So, sana po mayroon kayong matutunan sa gabing ito. Okay. So, ito po yung reviewer book natin. Okay, kung nakikita nyo. Okay. So, bawat bili po ninyo ng lib librong ito, li reviewer na ito, makakatulong kayo ng isang bata sa bawat paaralan. Okay, ito po yung libro na gagamitin natin. General Education, New Curriculum. Base, base po sa New Curriculum. Okay. Slides. Okay. Once again, good evening po sa inyong lahat. Future teachers and let takers this coming March 2024. Welcome po once again sa ating Friday Night Drills. Okay? Sa gabing ito po, we are going to focus on general education. At I said kanina na ito ay magiging continuous discussion every Friday po from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Live po tayo dito sa LCTC YouTube channel natin. Okay. Once again, I'll be your lecturer for this evening. Dear teachers, handa na ba kayo? Let's proceed. Okay. Question number one. I can't find my blank calculator. I can't find blank calculator. May I use blank Alan? So, tingnan po natin na meron ng calculator dito at yung material, no? At yung I as the subject, 
dito, ibig sabihin that itong subject na si I ay yung owner ng calculator na hindi niya mahanap-hanap. Okay? So, ang answer dito ay my. Okay. Yung my po, dear teachers, ay possessive determiner. Ibig sabihin that a person already owns something at yung my ipinapakita na yung subject is the owner. Possessive determiner. My na. Is it A or B? May I use yours? Excuse me. Si Alan po yung may-ari ng hihiramin. Yours. Okay. So the answer is letter B. Okay. I can't find my calculator. May I use yours, Alan? Okay. Yours po ay isang processive pronoun. Kuha po. My is a possessive determiner. At yung yours is a possessive pronoun. Okay. So, good evening. Once again, welcome po sa mga lahat ng nanonood ng ating live sa ating Friday night drill. Sa gabing ito, welcome po sa inyo. Next, question number two. Neither the principal nor the coordinators blank present in the event where or was okay so um, minsan po hindi neither nor sometimes ginagamit sa question either or n and n neither nor either vowel or vowel okay so hindi po yun pwedeng magpalit neither must be paired with nor and either always paired with or so, take note na they are connecting two elements. Ipo. Pag either or or neither nor, when are we going to use a singular or a plural verb? Yan po yung tanong. Okay. Take note po, neither nor, either or. Ito po yung elements na kinokonek niya. The principal and the coordinators. Okay? The principal and the coordinators. Take, take note po. Listen very carefully. Take note. Pag the two elements connected, if the two elements connected are singular, take note. Simply use a singular verb. Okay? If all the elements being connected by neither, nor, or either, or are all singular elements, use singular verb. But, teachers, take note. Pag kahit isa sa mga elements na yun na connect plural, use the plural verb. So here in the example coordinators plural yung isa sa element kaya where yung gamitin. Neither the principal nor the coordinators were present in the event. Okay? Tandaan lang. If all the elements being connected are all singular, use singular verb. Pag lahat ng elements na kinukonek ng neither nor, either or, may isa na plural, even one element, plural, use a plural verb. Okay. Dito sa example, coordinators yung plural. Question, sir, paano pag yung principals, neither the principals nor the coordinator, yung coordinator yung singular, a one of the elements. Yung sinabi, the rules states that if at least one of the elements is singular, use singular verb if all the elements are plural. If one is plural, if only one element is plural, use plural verb. Okay. So, again, teachers, future teachers, okay, kahit sa mga students dyan na 
wanted to have an advanced review, okay, getting ready to become a teacher sooner or later. Welcome po sa ating Friday Night Drills with Sir Gilmore. Okay, continuous discussion po ito live dito sa LCTC Review Center. Okay, let's proceed. Your boss isn't working anymore. Letter A. Is he or is it B? Isn't he? Okay. Let's again. The boss isn't working anymore. The statement here is in negative form. Take note po. The rule. Pag meron ng negative statement, yung following na statement should be in positive form. Okay? Your boss isn't working. Is he yung sagot? Letter A. The answer is letter A. Take note. Isn't working? Is he? Aren't working? Are you? Was he? Was she? Wasn't working? Was she? Was he? She isn't working anymore. Is she? Okay. Pag may negative statement, yung paris niya po is positive. Take note. Paano naman pag the other way around? Positive yung first statement, negative naman yung following statement. Nagkakaintindihan po ba tayo? Okay. Let's proceed. Number four, question. Have you ever been to my blank? A, brother-in-law's repair shop? Jan's garage? A. Letter B, brother's-in-law's repair shop? Jan's Garage. Saan po yun dyan sagot? Take note po, pag may apostrophe S, ibig sabihin, possessive, possession. The owner. Okay? And, saan yung sagot dito? So the answer is, letter, the answer is, letter A. Okay. These are hyphenated uh, now compounds. Okay. Now, itong letter B, brothers-in-law, this is the plural form of brother-in-law. Meaning, mga lalaki na asawa ng iyong kapatid. Marami. Brothers-in-law. Pag sinabing brother-in-law, isa lang. And it shows possession, brother-in-laws. Repair shop. So the answer is letter B. Take note po. Itong brother-in-law, singular. If if we are tasked or asked to write or to answer or to give the plural form, simply add S to the base noun. Okay. The brother. In the example, brother there is the base noun. So... If we wanted to have or pag ibigay natin yung plural form no ng brother in law brothers in law another example po teacher in charge hyphenated yon if we are going to give the plural form we are going to give the plural form simply add s to the base noun which is teacher Magiging teachers in charge. Okay, tama po. Okay, next question. Number five. Oh, Archimedes shouted, Eureka! What did we take this to mean? That means, just remember, that's discovery. The answer is letter B. Okay, 
Eureka Discovery. Okay. Paano nga natin ulit gagawing plural yung mga hyphenated nouns? No? Compound nouns? Hyphenated compound nouns? Simply look for the base noun and add S. Pag apostrophe naman, apostrophe S, possession yun. Okay. Number six. Several elements must be transmuted. Take note. Salet po. Pag may underlined word or words in bold. Take note. Ini-emphasize yun. Okay? And transmuted to see the real implications of this event. Sometimes yung... Uh, sentence na ginagamitan ng transmuted yung grades. Okay. So, select the word which means the same as the underlined word. The answer is, number six, letter B. Transmuted meaning changed. Yung equivalent. Okay. So, again po, dear teachers, tingnan nyo itong book, uh, LCTC Let Reviewer, General Education. Okay, so 100% guaranteed po ito ay based sa new curriculum. Okay, new curriculum po. And the good thing is, bawat libro, bawat isang libro ay may isang batang matutulungan. Okay, so it's one way of giving back to the society. Okay, ito ay yung LCTC, tinutulungan yung mga nangangarap na maging LPT. Okay? O LCTC wanted to produce LPTs in the future. Okay? Plus, points yung helping the community. Giving back to the community. Okay. Transmuted meaning change. Okay. Um, next question. Okay, another word here, underlined word or emphasized word. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself for having such carnal desires. Carnal. Select the word which means the same as the underlined word. The word carnal means a worldly, makamundo. Okay. Transmuted, changed. Transmuted, change. Carnal, worldly. Next, the president showed great aplomb while dealing with the reporters. Positive attitude. Oh, um, let's just understand the question. The president showed great aplomb while dealing with the reporters. Positive attitude yung ipinapakita. So, automatic, great composure. Yung sagot. Transmuted, change. Eureka, discovery. Okay. Carnal, worldly. Very good. Aplomb, composure. Okay. Let's proceed. Oh, dito naman tayo. In William Shakespeare... Si William Shakespeare po ay known as the greatest English writer or the Bard of Avon. No? Pag sinabing William Shakespeare, greatest English writer or the Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. O dito sa kanyang Merchant of Venice, Portia the judge said, quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as a gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It's mightiest, and one is likened to God when mercy seasons justice. The main thought of the excerpt is that, take note po, gentle rain from heaven, may pinipili po ba yung ulan? Wala. Iyong 
God po, when mercy seasons justice, may pinipili po bang ibinibigay yung Diyos? No? So, the answer is A, B. Mercy is spontaneous and freely given. Okay. Pag si William Shakespeare ay considered as the greatest English writer and the bard of Avon, morning star of English literature, Jeffrey Chaucer. Okay. Pag we're talking about the greatest English writer, the bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Okay. Pag morning star of English literature naman, Jeffrey Chaucer. Okay. Pag sinabing transmuted, change. Eureka, discovery. Carnal, worldly. Okay. Very good. Oh, ito, kilala. To be or not to be is the beginning of the soliloquy. Soliloquy of answer number 11. Number 11 is B. Okay. Hamlet. The beginning of the soliloquy of Hamlet. Cla uh, teachers, Macbeth, siya yung uh, Scottish general, no? Doon sa character na sinulat ni William Shakespeare. Okay. To be or not to be, that's the beginning of the sol soliloquy of Hamlet. The answer is letter B. Okay. Macbeth, the Scottish general, no, character sa sinulat ni William Shakespeare. Siya yung pumatay sa hari. Okay. And eventually, he became a king. No, kasi sinabihan siya ng three witches na he will become a king. Ah. To be or not to be, the beginning of the soliloquy of Hamlet. Okay. Let's proceed. Okay. In July 1901, Isabelo de los Reyes founded the first labor union in the country. What was its name? Take note. July 1901 was the establishment of the first labor union in the Philippines. It was founded by Isabelo de los Reyes. Okay? And aside from that, si Isabelo de los Reyes, Reyes ay isa rin sa mga nagtatag ng Philippine Independent Church. Okay? Philippine Independent Church, isa sa mga nagtatag nito, si Isabelo de los Reyes. And together with Gregorio Aglipay. Okay. 1901, July 1901, Isabelo de los Reyes founded the first labor union in the Philippines called Union Obrero Democratica, UOD. Okay? Number 12, UOD. Union Obrero Democratica. Founded by Isabelo de los Reyes, the first labor union in the Philippines, founded in July 1901. One. Okay. Take note po. 1901, July 1901, Isabelo de los Reyes founded the first labor union in the country. Okay. 1901. Okay. Now, talking of Philippine history, um, takol natin konti yung Philippine Commission. Okay. Baka lalabas ito sa March. Okay. Merong dalawang commission dito sa Pilipinas no, during the American period. Yung transition na. When, you, when Philippines was ceded to United States, to US. Okay. By the Treaty of Paris. Okay. Ang unang 
First Philippine Commission during the American period, the Skirman Commission. Take note, First Philippine Commission, Skirman Commission. It was headed by Dr. Jacob Skirman. Okay? Second Philippine Commission naman. The Second Philippine Commission is the Taft Commission. First Philippine Commission, Skirman Commission, headed by Dr. Jacob Skirman. Second Philippine Commission, Taft Commission, headed by William Howard Taft. Okay? And isa sa mahal mahalagang nagawa ng um, Taft Commission is the establishment of the judicial system in the country, okay, including the creation of um, the Supreme Court, okay, in our country. Okay. The first labor union in the country, Union Obrero Democratica. Okay. The Treaty of Paris is a treaty between Spanish and Spain. Take note of that. Okay. It was the time when, when the Philippines was ceded to U.S. The treaty, dear teachers, was signed in Paris on December 10, 1898. Okay? And the president during this that time was President McKinley. McKinley. Okay. The beginning of the soliloquy uh, to be not to be or not to be, that's Hamlet. Okay. Next, the first labor union in the country, Union Obrero Democratica. Union Obrero Democratica, first labor union in the country. Together with uh, Father Gregorio Aglipay, Isabelo de los Reyes founded the Philippine Independent Church. Okay. That how many commissions were conducted in the Philippines? Two. There were two Philippine Commission commissions. First, the Skirman Commission, and the second was the Taft Commission. Who was the head of the first Philippine Commission? Dr. Jacob Skirman. Who was the head of the second Philippine Commission? William. Howard Taft. Okay. Next. The religious institution is the only, this is the only religious institution that is the only living remnant of the Philippine Revolution of 1896. Okay. Sinabi ko na kanina, the Philippine Independent Church. And the first bishop of the Philippine Independent Church was Gregorio Aglipay. Okay? It's a Catholic church but with an independent jurisdiction from Rome. Okay? They do not uh, need authority from Rome. Okay? So, Philippine Independent Church. It's the only rev living remnant of Philippine Revolution of 1896, the Philippine Independent Church. Together with Gregorio Aglipay, Isabelo de los Reyes established the Philippine Independent Church. Okay. Next. The This person served as the brains behind the Arena Theater, number 14. No? Brain behind the Arena Theater. That's Montano. Severino Montano. Arena Theater? Severino Montano. Sala Rogers. Sala Rogers. Arena Montano. AM. Arena Montano. SR. Sala Rogers. XT. Experimental Tinio. Okay, Experimental Theater here in the Philippines. That's Tinio. Okay. AM, Arena Montano. Okay. SR, Sala Rogers. XT, Experimental Tinio. 
Okay. Who established the first labor union in the country, in the Philippines? Isabelo de los Reyes. Okay. The first labor union in the Philippines, Uni Union Obrero Democratica. Okay. The beginning of the soliloquy of the beginning of the soliloquy to be or not to be. To be or not to be is the beginning of the soliloquy of number 11, Hamlet. Okay. Next. The living, the only living remnant of the Philippine Revolution of 1896, the Philippine Independent Church. Okay? Take note po. Pag sinabi natin Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Morning star of the Philippine literature, uh, English literature, that's Jeffrey Chaucer. Okay, morning star of English literature, Jeffrey Chaucer. Okay, next. Arena Theater, Montano. AM, Sala, Rogers. Experimental, Tinio. Okay, very good. Arena Theater, Montano. Sala, Rogers. Experimental, Tinio. Very good. Okay, let's proceed. Okay. She wrote the first Filipino modern English language short story, Dead Star. Okay, published, take note, the Dead Star published in the Philippine Herald in 1925. Number 16. Wrote the first Filipino modern English language short story, Dead Star. Okay. Dead Star. Take note. Published in the Philippine Herald in 1925. The answer is Paz Marquez. Benitez. Okay. The first Filipino national artist for literature. He was the first Filipino national artist for literature. Jose Garcia Villa. Okay. First modern, first Filipino modern English language short story Dead Star was written by Paz Marquez Benitez. Um, first Filipino national artist for literature, Jose Garcia Villa. Okay, a Filipino writer whose stories, stories, um, depicts Filipino Spanish culture, culture, cultural beliefs and traditions. Filipino, Spanish, cultural beliefs and traditions. Sino? Nick Joaquin. Take note. Morning star of English literature, Jeffrey Chaucer. Very good. Okay. First Filipina, Filipino national artist for literature, Jose Garcia. Benitez. Ah, Jose Garcia Villa. Okay. She wrote Dead Star. Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Take note. Bard Vavon, William Shakespeare. Known as the father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Take note. Father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Filipino writer who depicts, whose stories and poems depicts Filipino and Spanish cultural beliefs and traditions, 
Nick Joaquin. Okay. A Filipino migrant whose fiction stories reflect the Filipino concept of American culture. Filipino concept of American culture. Bienvenido Santos. Take note. Filipino writer, fiction writer that reflects the Filipino concept of American culture, Bienvenido Santos. First Filipino national artist for literature, Jose Garcia Villa. Jose Garcia Villa, uh, also called as the Kama Poet. Okay? Kama Poet. Jose Garcia Villa. Take note. Bard Vavon, William Shakespeare. Mm, the first Asian writer to receive the Nobel Prize. First Asian writer to receive the Nobel Prize. Rabindranath Tagore. Again, Rabindranath Tagore. The first Asian writer to receive Nobel Prize. Okay. Um, this is a, a man in Shakespeare, Shakespeare's play um, whose downfall was caused by overwhelming ambition of power. Macbeth. Take note. Father of, known as the father of horror stories. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Wrote the Dead Star? Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Very good. So, welcome again. No, teachers, I think Friday night drills. Every Friday po, we will have a discussion no, and general education, a continuous discussion, continuation of this one. So that will be every Friday. Catch me live every Friday, 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. here at LCTC YouTube channel. And again, um, kung gusto nyo bumili, if you wanted to purchase LCTC Let Review, uh, LCTC Book, General Education, meron din pong Majorship at Proof Ed. Um, ako, magpo-focus muna tayo sa general education. Okay? So, if you wanted to purchase, you can message directly no, LCTC page for more inquiries. Take note po, bawat isang libro ay isang batang matutulungan. Okay? It's one way of LCTC's giving back to the society. Okay. Let's proceed. Number Okay Medyo mahina po yung signal Okay She wrote The first Filipino Modern English language short story Dead Star Paz Marquez Benitez First First Filipino National Artist for Literature ORD Jose Garcia Velia Known as the Kama Poet Jose Garcia Villa. Okay. Um, he is a Filipino writer whose stories and poems depicts Filipino Spanish cultural beliefs and traditions. Nick Joaquin. Okay. Let's proceed. Let's proceed.
ओके Okay, sorry po for the interruption. Mahina po yung signal. Okay, who is Kihano Di Martin in Philippine literature? That's Nick Joaquin. Okay, Jose Garcia Villa, known as the Kama Poet. Take note. And the first Filipino, the first Filipino national artist for literature. Jose Garcia Villa, author of um, Dead Okay, author ng Dead Star, Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Number 18, known, also known as Quijano de Martin in Philippine literature, Nick Joaquin. Jose Garcia Velia, known as the Kama Poet and the first Filipino national artist for literature awarded in 1973, Jose Garcia Villa. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay, Angono Rizal boasts a famous composer who became a national artist, San Pedro. Okay, take note. Um, known as the greatest Indian writer of all time, Kali Dasa. Take note. Okay. Um, collection of Indian beasts, fables, original written in Sanskrit, Panchatantra. Okay. Panchatantra. Indian beast fables. Collection of Indian fables. Um, it was originally written in Sanskrit. Okay? Panchatantra. Okay? Known as the greatest Indian writer, Kalidasa. Okay. Author of Dead Star, Paz Benitez. Okay. Known as Kihano uh, de Martin of the Philippine Literature, Nick Joaquin. 
Okay. Um, he is a Filipino writer, a fiction writer whose stories reflect on Filipino concept of Philippine uh, American culture. I mean, Fili Filipino concept of American culture. Oh, Bienvenido Santos, known as the Kama Poet. Jose Garcia Villa. And at the same time, Jose Garcia Villa was also the first Filipino national artist for literature. Okay. Um, a folk song originated in Pampanga. Folk song originated in Pampanga. Atin kupong sing sing. Okay, known as the greatest Indian writer of all time, Kali Dasa. Collection of Indian fables. Originally written in Sanskrit, Pancha Tantra. Okay. Okay. Author of the Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Arena Theater, Severino Montano. Okay. Sala Rogers, Experimental Tinio. First Labor Union in the Philippines, Union Obrero Democratica. Okay. A religious remnant no? in the Philippine Revolution. That's the... Philippine Independent Church together with Isabelo de los Reyes who founded the Philippine Independent Church Gregorio Aglipay um, the two commissions in the Philippines during the American period the Skirman Commission the first Philippine Commission and the second Philippine Commission which is the Taft, Taft Commission okay Philippine Secular Poetry, Octostylic, Octosyllabic, I mean. Philippine Secular Poetry, Octosyllabic, Corrido. Okay? Corrido. Okay. Morning Star of English Literature, Jeffrey Chaucer. Known as the greatest Indian writer of all time. Kalidasa. Philippine folk song that originated in Pampanga, Atin Kopong Sing Sing. Very good. Collection of Indian fables originally written in Sanskrit, Pancha Tantra. Okay. The first mythical geographer who was recognized due to his descriptions of lands and people, Homer. Okay, Mythic, mythical geographer. Okay, known as the father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Okay, Kama Poet, Jose Garcia Villa. Okay, let's proceed.
really having trouble with my connectivity. Okay, so sorry for the sudden interruption. Okay, um, let's proceed. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Okay, known... Who was the literary figure known as Hussein Siseo? Hussein Siseo? That's Jose de la Cruz. Okay. Very sorry for the connect, uh, internet interruption, teachers. Okay. Um, lumabas ito sa tanong ayon sa mga kasamahan kung nag-take na sino na yung first Philippine president from the Ilocos region Ilpijo Quirino Ilocos region okay take note of that okay um, known as the father of horror stories that's Edgar Allan Poe ito known as the father of English essays. Father of English essays, Francis Bacon. Okay? Francis Bacon. Collection of Indian fables, Pancha Tantra. Okay? Known as the greatest Indian writer of all times, Kalidasa. Take note, the first mythical geographer, Homer. Okay, famous composer from Angono Rizal and was given as a National Artist Award, San Pedro. Okay, Luis San Pedro, author of Dead Star, Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay, known as the Kama Poet, oh, Jose Garcia Villa. Um, remember, pag Nick Joaquin, Filipino Spanish culture, okay, ang ipinap in depiction ng kanyang mga poems at saka stories, okay. Um, pag Filipino concept towards American culture, be bienvenido Santos, okay. Filipino Spanish culture, Nick Joaquin. Filipino concept of American culture, Bienvenido Santos. Okay? Known as the father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Okay? Father of horror stories.
collection of Indian sacred hymns. Collection of Indian sacred hymns. Indian sacred hymns. Rig Vida. Pag Indian religious text, Upanishad. Okay. Take note. Collection of Indian sacred hymns, Rig Vida. Pag Indian religious text, Upanishad. Okay, take note. A uh, folk song originated in Pampanga, atin kupong sing sing. O ito, the greatest lyric poem in the literature of the world. Lyric poem, Psalms of King David. Take note. Lyric poem, greatest lyric poem in the literature. Take note, in the literature. Psalms of King David. Okay, Morning Star of English lit Literature, that's Jeffrey Chaucer. Collection of Indian Sacred Hymns, take note, Indian Sacred Hymns, that's Rig Vida. Okay, Pag Indian Text, Upanishad. Okay, take note, the first mythical geographer, Homer. First president of the Ilocos region, El Pijo Quirino. Father of English essays, Francis Bacon. Okay, uh, Filipino writer that depicts Filipino, Spanish, cultural beliefs and tradition, Nick Joaquin. Take note of that. Um, the first Filipino National Artist for Literature Awardee, Jose Garcia Villa. Known as the Kama Poet, Jose Garcia Villa. Okay. Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Okay. Um, it is a story of a man's effort to save his king from a monster. Beowulf. Very good. Um, Philippine secular poetry in octosyllabic. Octosyllabic, ha? Philippine secular poetry, octosyllabic, corrido. Okay. Um, okay, drill natin. Collection of Indian fables. Pancha Tantra. Okay, very good. Pancha Tantra. Okay. Um, Epic of Ifugao. Hudhud. Epic of Ifugao. Hudhud. Okay. Author of Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Popularly known as Husing Siseu, Jose de la Cruz. Okay, Jose de la Cruz. An Indian epic that is considered as the longest poem, Maha Bharata. Longest, Mahaba, Mahabharata. Okay. Mm -hmm. Father of English tragedy, Christopher Marlowe. Okay. Father of English tragedy, 
Christopher Marlowe. Okay, take note. Mm -hmm. Author of Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Take note. Collection of Indian Fables, Pancha Tantra. Indian Religious Texts, that's Upanishad. Religious Texts, Indian Religious Texts, Upanishad. Indian Sacred Hymns, Rig Veda. Morning Star of English Literature, Jeffrey Chaucer. First Mythical Geographer, Homer. Take note. Um, he was the first, uh, he, he, he was considered as the first man to replace myth with natural laws. First considered to be the first man to replace myth with natural laws. Thales of Miletus. Okay. Considered as the first great work of English literature, Beowulf. The uh, greatest lyric Poem in the literature of the world. Greatest lyric poem in the literature of the world. Psalms of King David. Father of English essays, Francis Bacon. Considered as the greatest English writer, also known as the Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. A okay. Filipino writer whose poems and stories depict Filipino Spanish cultural beliefs and traditions. Oh, Nick Joaquin. Okay. A father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Known as the Kama Poet. Kama Poet. Jose Garcia Velia. Okay. Pag Filipino author na ang kanyang mga fiction stories ay nag-reflect sa mga Filipino concepts on American culture, that's Bienvenido Santos. Greatest Indian writer of all time, Kalidasa. He was considered as the first man to replace myth with natural laws, Talis of Militus. Okay. Collection of Indian sacred hymns, Rig Veda. Okay, take note. Collection of Indian sacred texts, Upanishad. Okay. Um, known as the father of American literature, Washington Irving. Okay? Father of American literature, Washington Irving. The greatest lyric, lyric, greatest lyric poem in the literature of the world, Psalms of King David. Okay? What about collection of Indian fables, Pancha Tantra, father of American literature, Washington Irving. Considered as the greatest Indian writer of all time, that's Kali Dasa. Okay. Collection of Indian sacred hymns, Rig Veda. Indian religious texts, Upanishad. Okay. Father of American literature, Washington Irving. Very good. Father of English essays, Francis Bacon. Father of horror stories, Edgar Allan Poe. Very good. Okay. Known as the Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Okay. First mythical geographer, Homer. Very good. Philippine secular um, poetry in oct 
octosyllabic corridor. Okay? Corridor. Okay. It's, it is a story about a man, man's effort of saving his king, Beowulf. Take note. Okay. Author of Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. For Sala Theater, proponent of Sala Theater, Sala Theater, Rogers, SR. Arena, AM, Arena Severino Montano. AM, Montano. Okay. Okay. Popularly known as Husing Sisiu. Jose de la Cruz. Take note. Um, it is a very long poem about a pilgrimage from London to Canterbury. Canterbury Tales. Take note. The National Epic of England, Beowulf. Okay. Father of English Tragedy, Marlowe. Take note. The Epic of England, Beowulf. The Epic of Ilocanus, Biagni Lamang. Okay. Epic of the Ilocanus, Biagni Lamang. Um, it is a literary work uh, believed to have triggered the American Civil War. Uncle Tom's Cabin. cabin. Okay. The National Epic of America. The Song of Hiawatha. Okay. Take note. Epic of the Ilocanos. Biag ni Lamang. Take note of that. She wrote The Dead Stars. Published in 1955 in the Philippine Herald. Paz Marquez Benitez. Considered as the longest poem ever written. That's the Mahabharata. Take note. Known as, popular, popularly known as Husing Sisiu, Jose de la Cruz. Okay. Um, Philippine secular poetry in octosyllabic, Corrido. Okay, take note. Okay. The greatest lyric poem in the literature of the world, Psalms of King David, the greatest Indian writer of all time, Kalidasa, collection of Indian fables, Panchatantra. Okay. He was the first man to replace myth with natural laws. Talis of Militos. If we are going to talk about Indian sacred hymns, collection of Indian sacred hymns, Rig Veda. Collection of Indian sacred texts, Upanishad. Take note. Father of American literature, Washington Irving. Take note. Considered as the first mythical geographer, mythical geographer, Homer. Okay. Famous composer from Angono Rizal who received the National Artist Award, Luis San Pedro. Kung if walang Luis sa option, San Pedro, San Pedro ang sagot. Okay, the first great work of English literature, Beowulf. Take note. Okay, take note, take note. The Epic of England, Beowulf. The Epic of the Ilocanos, Biag Nilam Ang. Father of English Tragedy, Christopher Marlowe. Okay. Um, in Shakespeare's play, this is Shake this Shakespeare's play is a story of a man whose downfall was caused by overwhelming ambition of power. Macbeth. Take note. 
Filipino writer na ang kanyang mga poem at stories depicts Filipino Spanish cultural beliefs and traditions. That's Nick Joaquin. Okay? Nick Joaquin. He was the first Filipino artist for literature awarded in 1973. Jose Garcia Velia. Kama poet, Jose Garcia Velia. Um, Arena Theater, Montano. AM, Arena, Montano. Take note. Sala, Rogers. Take note. Um, experimental, that's Tinio. Okay? Tinio. Pag Filipino Spanish cultural beliefs and traditions, Nick Joaquin, for Filipino concepts of American culture, Bienvenido Santos. Okay? Okay, I'm back again. Sorry. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, the fundamental law of the land constitution. Take note. Okay, whose philosophy advocates the use of reason in understanding the existence of God. Thomas of Aquinas. Okay. Uh, the right invoked in writ of habeas, corp, habeas data. Take note. The right invoked in the writ of habeas data. The right to information privacy. Okay. These are taxes imposed on income and profits. Direct tax. Take note. Pag taxes imposed on goods and services or levied on goods and services, indirect. Okay? Direct tax, income and profits. Take note. Indirect goods and services. Okay? Reason, philosophy, advocates re the use of reason to prove, the to understand and prove the existence of God, St. Thomas of Aquinas. The fundamental law of the land, constitution. Okay? Now, in the principle of check and balances. Okay? Um, government naman tayo. System. Okay? Our system, government system is divided into, into three. The legislative body composed of the upper house and the lower house, the executive department, and the judiciary. Okay? Now, these three are equal branches of government. Okay? Equal, co-equal, inter interdependent. Okay. And the principle of checks and balances tells that these three, though equal in power, 
can check no to maintain good system in our government okay now here what is a check on the executive department okay how do a judiciary or how does the judiciary check on the executive department in the principle of checks and balances okay take note that the president may decide or do a proclamation or an executive order right so the judiciary can declare the act of the executive most particularly the president as unconstitutional okay how about the president to the legislative take note that it's the lower house and the upper house legis legislates laws right sila yung gumagawa ng batas and yung executive department will implement will execute those laws promulgated or those laws enacted by congress okay so how does the president by the principle of checks and balances checks the legislative body okay take note that the president has the veto power okay that's how the president can check the legislative okay the legislative can overthrow the veto order or the veto of the executive take note okay the right invoke in right of habeas data right to information privacy okay take note these are taxes imposed on incomes incomes and profits incomes and profits that's direct on goods and services indirect tax fundamental law of the land constitution okay the three equal branches of government legislative executive and judiciary co-equal okay how many days will a bill becomes a law 30 days the first philippine uh, the first press philippine president from the ilocos region elpidio quirino okay um When a paper clip floats on the surface of water, that surface tension. Take note. Okay. What kind of relationship is being showed when um, a sapagita is planted beside an avocado tree? Competition. Okay. A relationship when the one is harmed and the other one is benefited the other one is harmed and the other one is benefited parasitism okay how about a relationship whereby the two benefits from each other mute ano uh, commensalism if the one Benef is getting the benefit while not harming the other mutualism okay take note okay let's proceed again father of horror stories edgar allan poe take note father of english essays Francis Bacon, 
proponent of Arena Theater, Montano. Severino Montano. Sala Rogers. Um, Philippine Extension. Ah, experimental. Not, I mean, experimental. Tinyo. Okay. His poems and stories depicts Filipino, Spanish, cultural beliefs and traditions, Nick Joaquin. Okay. He was the first Filipino national artist for literature. Take note, Jose Garcia Velia. Also known as the Kama Poet, Jose Garcia Velia. He is a famous composer from Angono Rizal and was given a National Artist Award, Luis San Pedro. Okay. Collection of Indian Fables. It was also originally written in Sanskrit, Panchatantra. Okay. He was the first man to replace myth with natural laws. Talis of Militus. When we talk about collection of Indian sacred hymns, that's Rig Veda. Collection of Indian sac religious texts, religious texts, Upanishad. Okay. Father of American literature, Washington Irving. Take note. The first mythical geographer, Homer. Okay. Popular Philippine secular poetry in octosyllabic. Corrido. Okay. Next is the epic of the Ifugao. Hood. Hood. Okay. Known as the longest Indian epic. No, an Indian epic and considered as the longest poem ever written, Mahaba, Mahabharata. Okay. Hosing Sisiu, Jose de la Cruz. Teachers, ang corrido, secular poetry in octosyllabic. Okay. But Philippine secular poetry in dodika syllabic, Awit. Okay? Dodika silabic awit. Okto silabic korido. Okay. Take note. Epic of England, Beowulf. Epic of Ilocanus, Biagni Lamang. Okay. Okay. Author of Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Okay. Secular poetry in the Philippines written in Dodica Silabic, Awit. Take note. Mm -hmm. Another Philippine secular poetry in Octosilabic. In Octosilabic, Corrido. Okay. Next is um, the great, first great work of English literature, Beowulf. Take note. Father of American literature, Washington Irving. Famous composer from Angono Rizal and was given the National Artist Award, Luis San Pedro. Collection of Indian Fables, Pancha Tantra. Considered as the greatest lyric poem in literature of the world. Psalms of King David. Folk song that is originated in Pampanga. Atin Kopong Sing Sing. Known as the greatest Indian writer, Kalidasa. Considered as the morning star of English literature, 
Jeffrey Chaucer, Bard of Avon, William Shakespeare. Okay. Collection of Indian Sacred Hymns, Rig Veda. Collection of Indian Religious Texts, Upanishad. Okay. Take note. Okay. Okay. Dear teachers, encourage ko po kayo, no? This is based on the new curriculum, general education. Okay? Ito po yung basihan natin sa ating mga reviews, no? based on the new curriculum sa general education. So, kung gusto nyo pong mag-order, if you have any other queries or questions, pwede po kayong mag-comment. Okay? Do, dito sa ating um, Facebook page, LCTC fa Facebook page. Okay? And teachers, bawat isang libro, nakakatulong ka ng isang bata. This is, again, LCTC's way of giving back to the community. Okay, so every Friday po, again, catch me live Friday night with Sir Gilmore. Friday night drills po, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, humihingi po ako ng paumanhin sa mga kakapasok lang kasi medyo mahina po yung signal. Okay. Sige. Drills ulit tayo. Mm -hmm. 
the first labor union in the Philippines, Union Obrero Democratica. Okay. Sino ang founder? Isabelo de los Reyes. Kasama ni Isabelo de los Reyes na nag-establish ng Philippine Independent Church, Gregorio Aglipay. Take note. Proponent ng Arena Theater, Mon Tano, Severino Montano. Okay. Proponent ng Sala, Rogers Experimental Tinio. Okay. Fundamental law of the land, Constitution. Take note. These are taxes imposed on incomes, direct tax, levied on goods and services, that's indirect tax. Okay. Um, economics. Um, if revenues exceeds to that of expenses, that's profit. Okay. If expenses exceeds to that of the revenues, that's loss or lugi. Okay. If assets exceeds liabilities, that's net worth. Okay. If liabilities exceeds assets, that's asset deficiency. Okay. Revenues exceeds expenses, profit. Oh. If expenses exceeds revenues, that's loss. Logi. As assets exceeds liabilities, net worth. If liabilities exceeds assets, that's asset deficiency. Okay. Let's proceed. Daming dapat tandaan ng mga tao. No? But, teachers, no? mainam na I think it's best that from this time we will have a continuous review. No? It's, it's one way of preparing ourselves for the exam. Okay. Para bang, it's like a constant practice, no? And these informations will become part of our knowledge, no? Okay. So, hindi ibig sabihin na mawawala yung lahat ng nalaman natin ngayong gabi. Okay? I assure you, pag constant yung pag-review, pag-listen ng mga, pakikinig ng mga online reviews, especially dito sa LCTC, ha? Okay? Plus points na lang yung mag-self-review ka. Okay? So, I think sa lahat ng mga nag-plan, no? To those who are planning to take the licensure examination for teachers this coming March, this is the best time to start the review. Okay? And balik-balikan yung mga na-review na. Okay? Our brain has the capacity to, you know, remember all things. Maybe not, but at least majority nito ng, at, ng ating mga na-review ay magiging part na ng ating knowledge. Okay? So, it's not, for me, it's not about memorizing, but more on familiarizing. Okay? Familiarize first, and then, follow na yung memorize. Once you are familiar, it is easy to memorize. Okay. Okay. So, thank you again to those who are with me this evening sa ating Friday Night Drills with Sir Gilmore. Thank you for spending your time with us at LCTC uh, Review Center. Again, 
catch me live next Friday, the same time, the same place at LCTC YouTube channel. Friday Night Drills with Sir Gilmore. Thank you again and see you next Friday.